everybody! Welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Violet, the Indigo Death DLC. In our last episode, we went after Iron... Uh, Iron Boulder and Iron Crown. In this episode, we're gonna actually go catch a few more legendaries. I don't know how many, but probably try to make a attempt for three? Mainly because I don't know if we can, I don't know how many we can catch by ourselves. I do know we need, we, need, uh, we need to be in a group for some of them. But for the most part, there's three Pokemon we're gonna go catch. One of them being a mystical Pokemon. Which, <laughs> I actually have a guide of how to catch that Pokemon because I'm gonna be honest, it's quite um, quite a bit weird how you catch it. Like, I actually need a guide and I'm not gonna be able, I'm not gonna write this down and be like, yep, no, I know what to do. Nope. Either way, here we go. So, so you know, this mystical Pokemon, you could actually catch it as soon as you enter the Terranium. So, it, it, it is a, it's been available to us this whole entire time. We might have actually been able to see it for the longest. I think we have to go here. It's here where we have to go. So I guess, go this way. Yeah, so we kind of need to do stuff. Actually, I think you might have. I think you might need it to uh, upgrade your camera for this. I think. But yeah, basically, you could have caught it at any point. You just need to upgrade your camera. Where is it? We're gonna notice it here. Uh, it's here somewhere. Uh, where is it? So nobody actually tells you in the game what to do for this Pokemon. You just have to go right up and randomly find it and <laughs> And honestly, I don't know how they expected you to know what to do for this. Cause one of my friends is the one who actually Oh, there's a whole there's a uh group of bolts that are protecting that one survivor. Anyways, yeah, I'm using my uh permanent team again. Yeah, I don't know how they expected you to uh, know about this. <laughs> it's the fact that nobody tells you what to do for this. Where is it? Hopefully I'm not glossing over it, because, uh... Hold on. Oh! Haha! <laughs> this is what I get for not reading the whole entire guide. Alright, we gotta go back. It is in this area. Well, it is potentially in this area. So we actually <coughs> have to pay attention to. I mentioned we at least have to go to plant to plant. And if oh <laughs> I don't know if I was loud enough, but the guide said we had to go to plant, at least go to plant to plant at least, then we'll be getting closer. It could also just be not paying attention to what is going on, but we'll find out. gonna notice it sooner or later. I hope I'm in, <coughs> I hope I'm in the right spot. So you can tell that there's a breeze and the music is dying down. So Viper! Oh my god! Well, you clearly don't want the survivor bothering you. I'm just gonna kill you. Okay, 
So, right here. So yeah, you can see the little breeze and you can hear the fact that the music dying down. Okay, so you're gonna have to time yourself and I'm gonna actually use my recording to do it. But basically, you're gonna wanna spin for at least 10 seconds. It doesn't say how to spin exactly, it just says to spin for 10 seconds. Okay, right. There. Okay, press that on the camera. And then it wants us to go to the this filter. And then we should if we You can actually hear it, so we did it right. Right there. <coughs> no. A metal weather. That's right. You can uh you can catch a mystical Pokemon, Meloetta. It really is a weird process to do for this. I don't think anybody in the game tells you about it. Meloetta. <coughs> it is a very quick Pokemon. What level is it at? Please be level 70. Thank goodness. I'm actually a very high level. I don't know if I can actually hurt it without killing it. But yeah, kind of a tricky Pokemon to get, and I don't know how you're ex exactly supposed to notice it. Because I definitely would have not noticed the breeze, or the fact that they want to use a spin around. Or the fact that they want to use in a specific camera. But yeah, it's kind of cool that they gave you the mystical Pokemon medal. Uh, let's see, can I do wood hammer and it won't kill it? If it kills it, I might need to think on another Pokemon. Okay, cool. That works. Neat. Okay. Uh, man, realizing I probably should have kept Raichu in and at least need it on the wave. One, two, three. Oh, cool. Actually, I did not. Oh, just so you know, Meloetta is not part of the Pokedex, so you don't need to catch it in order to complete the Blueberry Dex. Yo, it doesn't even have a Pokedex entry. Is that a Shiny Executor? What the hell? It is! Okay, then. Yes, <laughs> well, I wanted to find a Shiny uh, Pokemon on camera for Blueberry, and here we go. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny, the fact that we caught a sh we found a shiny executor and a Lohan one at it. That's cool. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay, anyways. We are now gonna go off and go catch some some extra some other legendaries. I'm gonna just leave it for at least ow. Sorry, I have a cut in my finger and I guess it still hurts. I didn't realize I still needed to heal up. Okay, I'm gonna go heal up my team members first. I might actually bring in another team member. Maybe because it knows false swipe. But yeah, for for the uh for at least the rest of this episode, we're probably gonna go catch some legendaries. Ooh. Uh let me actually do some let me actually look it up real quick before I like I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it here, but I'm looking something up real quick. I'll be back. Okay. We're back. Hi. Sorry, just looking up some stuff. Uh, we're probably actually, honestly, just gonna do two legendaries. Cause realizing there is a lot of like, mm, I don't know, I got depending. I, yeah, we're just gonna probably do two legendaries. Cause either way, there are some legendaries we might not be able to catch on our own, or we. So, I think that's what we're gonna do. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those blue uh, barbecue barbecues or not, Miko. Heavens to Bestie, you've done and completed a group quest. I say you earned yourself one of my special snacks, Miko. The Ho Ho Treat. Uh, uh, I see. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Okay. So, no. Okay, so that's. Okay, so Ho Ho is actually part of Scarlet, but if you do a group quest. Uh, with Violet and Scarlet, you actually can get Ho-Ho, I guess is what it is. 
Okay, so you can actually get every single legendary. And oh, honestly, you just have to do some group quests for them. There are some Pokemon that are only group quests. That are only group quests, though. A snack made from ingredients favored by the legendary Pokemon Ho Ho. That there's a Ho Ho treat. You know, Ho Ho? Frightfully rare, that one. Not your run of the mill Pokemon. Speaking of Ho Ho, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. Now this is a, this is just a real old tale from those long ago uh, days when I just started out as a trainer. I was down in the southwest of Paladea, near the uh, Cascading Waterfalls down there. Uh, I bent up through the night training without rest to try and make my Pokemon stronger. Then Ho Ho appears in the sky above me, glittering and sparkling, bright as you ever saw. I'm I sure like to believe that it appeared there to cheer me on when I was trying so hard. It loves that snack that you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. If you run into old Ho Ho, you be sure to give it my best. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, so he's at Paladea, and so we want to go to the South Province Area Four because I think I know where he's talking about. I think he's talking about over here. I think he's talking about this area. I think we can finally start flying with a uh, Meridon, so this might be a little bit easier to find. Okay, let's do this. Uh, <coughs> that's it. It's like, so it's gotta be near a waterfall, right? So just keep flying up. <laughs> Uh, if anything, I probably just might fast forward a little bit until I find Ho Ho. So, fast forward time! Woo, woo. Oh, never mind. No fast forward time! I found Ho Ho! Oh, just so you guys know, these legendaries are shiny locks, so no point in soft resetting to get a shiny legendary. It does suck, but hey, what you gonna do, right? Also, as you saw, oh. Uh, what is There we go. Shadow! <laughs> also, as you can see, I do have an Iron Valiant. My Iron Valiant is back in my party again. Mainly because it has a false swipe. So, yeah. That's the only reason I have it in my team, just so I can, uh,. I can weaken these Pokemon a lot faster. Okay. And Valiant's not gonna be a complete permanent team member. It's just for the time being. Uh, if you're wondering who I swapped it out with, it's my low tech. <laughs> my low tech was already too close to level 100, so I'm giving it a break. Honestly, it's actually kind of funny. My low tech did actually carry me a lot throughout this whole uh, throughout the whole DLC. Actually, it's funny because for me, I thought it was gonna be King Gambit or Halucha that would carry me, not uh, my my Lotic. Well, there is gonna be a Pokemon that I can't use Fox Swipe on. Yes. At least I think so. Probably, honestly, should have got a Thunder Wave on Iron Valiant, but oh well. But you're gonna do nothing. Okay. I was just actually checking to see. But yeah, so you cannot catch a Pokia or a Guarantee. A Pokia, Diaga, or Caratina through these. Through these uh, legendary uh, finding quests. Sucks! Sucks, but um, if you have Legends of Arceus, you can still get those three. Or if you did those, uh, that one Pokemon raid event with the Yaga and Pokemon, you can get those two at least. It does kind of suck that they're not part of, the, part of this quest. I kind of expected them to be. 
actually funny enough, I have to redo Legends of Arceus because for some odd reason my file got deleted. I don't know why. I should think about it. Think about it. I never... I, no, actually no! I never got deleted. It's just a... Ah, oh, I just realized now why I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, I realized why. Uh, it's cause during the whole... As soon as I finished Darcius, it was on my previous Switch. But I ended up getting a brand new one, so I don't have the save file anymore. And for anybody wondering why I didn't save, uh, transfer the save data, it's because I didn't know you could. I thought leg I thought art, ooh, dang it, I thought Pokemon games were the ones you couldn't do that with. Got bit recovery. Ah, excuse me. Uh, false swipe, please. Fire again. Oh my god. Oh, Iron Valiant goes down here. Probably should have put a left over on it. I was gonna say, if it doesn't go down with it, I'll actually heal it up. Uh, let's see, what can withstand it? Arcanine. Uh, god, Arcanine was shiny. Uh, my charge can paralyze, right? No, I cannot. No wonder it was never uh, paralyzing anybody. I thought it could. I honestly really thought it could. Gosh darn it. Oh my god. This is gonna take a while again, isn't it? Uh -huh. Come on. Uh, watch my. Shit! No! Well, at least it can't burn me, Arcanine. So, I actually do that. I have. I am deciding this here now. Uh, for the rest of the legendaries that a uh, snack bar can uh, make you go and hunt for, I'm actually gonna save that for another video. I'm gonna catch Ho Ho here and then one more legendary. But for the rest, yeah, they will be saved for a different video. <laughs> Mainly because there is some stuff I still wanna show off. And I feel like it'd be great if I have uh, two, two of my friends on here again. Yeah, no, I can definitely keep showing off uh, the, the legendaries during the video. Come on! Come on, come on, oh ho! Don't you be doing this with me! No! Oh, uh, oh it's gonna be a pain in the butt right now, isn't it? can't even use the um, <laughs> the um, dust ball because it's daytime right now. Oh my god. I don't think I have a status element move on any of my team members. Uh, I'm gonna use wild charge and see if that works. It works a little too well! Hold on! Sacrifice can uh, unfreeze himself. 
But no point in attempting for that. One, two. I also don't want to attempt it because of the snow. Oh my god. Even with uh, its uh, special attack going down, it's just a lot. And yeah, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give up. Come on, come on. I think for this fight, I think for the second fight with Oho, I am gonna start fast forwarding this fight because there's no point in trying this off again. So, here we go, fast forward time. So long. Alright. One more legendary to attempt for. Gotta go heal up. Actually, I realized I don't really need to. Yeah, I don't really need to, but there is something else. I do at least want to teach Iron Valley and Thunder Wave, so hold on. Cutting this part. Alrighty, let's see what Legendary is next for us to catch. 
Uh, now let's see. You you got and completed two group quests. I say you earned yourself one of my special snacks. The Groudon treat, eh? I think Groudon is also a yeah. Groudon is also a Violet group quest. Okay, I haven't gotten any of the solo quests. <laughs> There! Uh, that- there's a Groudon treat. You know Groudon? Rightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-meal Pokemon. Speaking of Groudon, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger feller. I did spy old Groudon once, back in the days when I was adventuring around Paladea. You know, the huge cave system under that one town? I never can remember that name. Anyways, the name don't matter, except to say that that's the place where I saw that feller. I thought to myself, well if that ain't Groudon, and I gave a big wave of my arms to say hello, what else are you supposed to do when faced with a continent Pokemon, I ask ya. So anyway, I did that and then it showed me its huge, fearsome claws that it did. It loves that snacks you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. Alright, so I do know, actually do know what he's talking about. It. That's honestly an easy hint, because he's talking about over here. Uh, maybe it'd be best if I do... Nah, I'd be best if I go here. He's talking about the cave that's under here. At least I know that. I hope Groudon does not take me forever as well. Ah, oh, you know what I just realized? I just saw Thunder Wave 2 freaking uh, Iron Valiant, and it's gonna be useless against Groudon. Gosh darn it! <laughs> Cause Groudon's, Groudon's a ground type, as you can tell by its name, so Iron, uh, Iron Wave. Thunder Wave won't even do anything! Ah. I just think you gotta do this. You gotta be like this with me. Okay, anyways, let's see if we can find Groudon. Also, how the heck is Groudon supposed to be in this cave? This cavern's not even that big for Groudon. Groudon's supposed to be like a really, really big Pokemon. Wait, is that shiny? No, it's not. Oh yeah, it's a funny story. Uh, cause I was helping one of my friends catch, uh, some legend, uh, not legendary, some shiny Pokemon for her team to use in Violet. And as a troll, she gave me a shiny Salazzle. But you wanna know what it, why it's a troll? It's cause it's a male Salazzle. So I can't evolve it. And I'm just like, gee, thanks. Does it, does it, it's like, mm. <sighs> love my friend, but I'm like, man, could have at least given me another shiny you could have used. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, now where's this crowd on? Uh... <laughs> I am actually kind of sleepy because of it. It do be kind of late right now. Is it? It's right on over here, maybe. Uh... Wait. That's a shiny gibble. <laughs> wow, two shinies and two... Oh wait, no, this is... This is still the same episode, I just realized that. I was gonna be like, wow, two shinies and like... And two episodes in a row. But no, this is two shinies and one episode. Ah, oh, come on. That's actually kind of funny. I was not attempting to find a shiny right now, but I don't mind if I do. I'm actually just going to cut this part. I'm going to cut this part out. I'm at least going to cut it until I find ground on, so I'll be right back. No! Not a dive ball! <laughs> Whew! 
Well, never mind. I guess I'm showing that part off because I actually caught it in a dive ball. Was not attempting to do it. Ooh. Funny how my quick ball failed, but not the dive ball. Anyways, I actually cut it off. I cut this part out until I find Groudon. Found it. Found a Groudon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so the Groudon's just right near that terrestrialized Ombreon. Not too far from it. All right, let's save real quick. Still can't believe I found a second shiny in this episode. That's gotta be some good luck. Hehe, <laughs> we're in a cave, which means freaking a uh, dust ball is gonna be useful in here for once. I love when this quick ball just catches it instantly. One, two. Okay, I was gonna be like, come on now, are you serious? Hammer miss. Thank you. Actually. I wouldn't mind if it hit me with hammer arm, because it really wouldn't do much. Ah, uh, Frost White's gonna take a while. I don't think it should have any special attacks, so there's no use in using a uh, Spirit Break. Still can't believe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, if you're under level, if you're lower level than 70, it, that, can, that, can, that will hit you. Luckily, it's a one-hit KO move, and they always have a 30% chance of hitting, so... Still, still find it funny that my luck is the fact that I find a Groudon next when I just taught Thunder Wave. One, two, three... Oh! Hey! Look at that! <coughs> Didn't need Thunder Wave either way! 87, let's go! I actually was kind of expecting the Pokédex entry, and I forgot it. there's none here. Okay, but with that being said, that is actually going to be it for today. Uh, we, uh, I showed off Meloetta, I showed off ho ho and Groudon. And the next episode, um, kind of not sure what we're going to be doing, because uh, today's the day when the epilogue is supposed to be coming out, so... Depending on how I feel, I might just end up doing the epilogue next. And then coming right back to Indigo Disc, finishing up. And then finishing up some stuff we missed in Paladea. So, it'll be hit and mess of what I decide to end up doing. But with that being said, that is it for today. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, y'all.